All right, so welcome back. So today we're gonna to be working with strings and we're gonna to try to extract characters out of this string um, using square brackets. So go ahead and type this in. So letters equal to all of the letters of the alphabet. So what we got here is, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So if we wanna get the letter A, so A is normally the first letter of the alphabet. So that's how, you know, English and stuff is. It's A is the first letter of the alphabet. So, but in computers, um, they don't start counting with one. So we normally count by like one, two, three, but in computers, stuff usually counts from zero. So zero, one, two, three. So in our case, letter A is going to be the first letter of the alphabet, but in the, the way the computer sees it, it sees it as the zero, the zeroth letter of the alphabet. So if I want to be able to get this letter A out of the alphabet, I want to do letter or letters equals zero, letters zero, and that'll give me A. So the way you can get this right every single time is take whatever letter in this string and count. So if we want to get F out, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, letter F is the sixth letter in the alphabet. And to get it right every single time, you just minus one off of it because you got to offset it. So letters, square bracket, five, because in our alphabet, in our in English, it's the sixth letter. But the way the computer sees it, it sees it as the fifth one. It has an offset of five, I should say, because we're starting at zero. <laughs> And then there's a few different things that you can do with it. You can also go in reverse. So I want to get uh, the last letter of the alphabet, which is the 26. And like I said before, you can just subtract by one. This will give me Z, but you can also do it this way where you can go back around in reverse. So I want to get the last letter, which in our case could be negative one. And as you can see, here it is. So this would be zero. And then over here would be our negative one. It's like we're going in reverse. So this is the beginning and then this is the end. So let's see what letters negative two gives us. So it gives us Y. So we're pretty much going in reverse now. And then we can do it, you know, you can just play around with it and try to get a feel for what you're actually doing. So Q, this gives us Q, but the positive version of the value would be C zero one two, or we can just do it the way I said before. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen. So the other value would be sixteen. So, I mean, you can just play around with it, try to get a feel for what it, what it is actually doing in um, using the square bracket and using the negative values and stuff like that. So, like I said, with computers, they start counting using zero. So, you're going to have to offset every, every number that you get when you're counting and subtract it by one, and it'll give you the value that the computer thinks it is. All right. Catch you guys in the next one.